Hey everyone, my name is Root and we're here. This is going to be some week of the NCP, but we are up against Made of Poke Master and I really want to get into this. I've been keeping him waiting. I just went out of town to get water, but I've been keeping him waiting a little bit. And right after this, we have to play our AP Academy. But here we are. We will see the uh, Gardevoir, um, Araquanid, both the Flame War boys, uh, Obstagoon and Kinkelder, Toxtricity, and... Um, what is that thing called? Uh, Barbaric. Okay. So right off the bat, no Scavalier. No Scavalier is bananas to me, but helpful. <laughs> um, no, no Noivern. Wow, no Noivern is actually huge. No Noivern is actually huge. No Claydol. I really did expect no Claydol because, um, it's just bad and I think he, th he thinks it's bad. Uh, no Gorgice. No Gorgice is genuinely really huge. No Gorgice is genuinely really huge. So I don't know what the heck I want to lead off with. I've gotten in the habit of leading off with Dragapult. That's only because it has U-turn generally. I kind of just want to lead off with the Raichu. It will reveal specs reasonably early. But at the same time, I don't think I mind. I don't think it has a real way, real solid way of stopping specs. And there's a pretty solid chance he leads off with the Araquanid. So... I am pretty weak to Sticky Web, so that's going to be unfortunate, but... But, actually, I don't even know if my... Yeah, my Dragapult is clear body, so it's not going to be, I guess, the biggest deal in the world. It does lead off with this thing. Now, I want to see whatever I can find out about this thing. This thing could be Scarfed. I think uh, it's honestly one of his best Scarf candidates. It does look like if this thing is no bulk, then... Volt Switch does right around half-ish. So, I'm just gonna go with it, I think. I can discharge, potentially get a para. But I honestly want to see if this thing is Scarfed. I think, honestly, he did kind of expect... Yeah, this thing is Scarfed. He did expect me to lead off with the Dragapult. I'm pretty positive that's what, the, what, the, what that is. But does a whole bunch of damage. As I do do just under half. So, it probably has just a nominal amount of bulk. Just whatever EVs he had left over. And from here, I think I can just go into this thing. Now that this thing is locked in a Psy Shock, I think I can go in here. And Heavy Slam feels moderately free. Toxtricity would obviously be the worst thing you'd go into. Also, Arachnid as well. Um. Hmm. I feel like there's no other play. Yeah. Yeah, we can just get some damage off here. I think... Yeah, I think damage is just going to be... How I want to play this. Goes another Kinkelder. That's huge. Okay, so... I can get Mach Punched, and I think that's that'd be fine. Because if I can get rid of this thing... Yeah, that's... Well within a 2 KO. And I can get Mach Punched, but I don't think I mind. I'm going to just see... I think I'm just going to click it. I don't think I mind if I get Mach Punch, right? Well, I still have to be faster than this thing, which is a question. If this thing is like max speed can, um, can Kelder, but I think it has to be like max HP to take that ghost. It is fast. Okay. Okay. That's pretty bad. <laughs> that's, a, that's a fast can Kelder. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, my dedicated switch in is the Arcanine. My dedicated switch in is the Arcanine. So I think I kind of just go for it here. Let me see. Yeah, Kinkelder really didn't even need that much speed to outspeed, um, Copper Raja. So I'd be curious to know what he goes into here. Let me just see. I'm going to take a screenshot of this, actually. Um, best play would be the Barbarical here. I'm going to go for it. We'll, we'll see whatever we can do here. You do get the Fire Spin off. So this Kinkelder is going to be trapped. Let's go for the Drain Punch. And this is exactly what this Arcanine is designed to do here. 
So from here, I can get off a charm. And then, get off a Morning Sun. And then, with this thing being trapped, I think I'm in an okay spot. Yeah, I just go for the charm here. So I think actually um, the amount, the number of turns that Fire Spin um, makes a Kingelder weak, or makes a Kingelder, what's the word, um, trapped, is random. It's between like two to five. So I kind of don't know that I'm going to trap this thing in for long enough to, for me to be able to like stay super duper healthy, which is my goal here, obviously. Um, I'd also be super curious to know if the Barbarical is pure is pure rocks as well. But I think if I just go for the play rough here, huh, I should really should Morning Sun. I'm gonna go for the play rough though. I'm gonna try to risk this. Because I do need this this Kinkelder as weak as I possibly can have it. There's another attack drop, so this thing is at minus four right now. And no matter what happens, even if this thing is freed from Fire Spain, which I'm really hoping it's not, uh, I'm going to watch the text, the text really, really closely to see if this thing gets freed from Fire Spain. But I really want to get the Morning Sun off. It's still under Fire Spain. So I think no matter what happens, it gets KO'd on this following turn, so I can Morning Sun up. For absolutely free, Kelder is officially neutralized, which is huge for me. It's absolutely huge for me. And I still have my Arcanine healthy enough to potentially try to deal with the... The... Obstagoon. Because I think... I think I can... At least get one strong hit off on Obstagoon. But Kelder really did just destroy my entire team, so... Being able to kind of manage that. Oh, and also for the Obstagoon, um, I'm hoping that my Rhydon can do a decent amount here for me. Uh, it does allow the Araquanid in for more or less frame. And Araquanid would be unfortunate. I can kind of charm the Araquanid to make it less of an issue for me. I can also trap, I can do the same thing to the Araquanid essentially. But it would be a lot more difficult because obviously um, I'd be weak to the Araquanid. And yeah, for a lot of his. Heavy hitters, yeah. In comes the Barbarical. I think that's fine. He does get rocks up for free here. So I think... Yeah, I think he just goes for the rocks and I can get a free Volt Switch off. I I'd be amazed if he goes for for a Shell Smash right now. Although he can absolutely just destroy me with the Rock Smash. Or Shell Smash. Well, there you go. He goes for the Shell Smash. Can I beat this? I don't know. I think this thing just might beat me on its own. This is the thing that I am least prepared for. I guess I have to sack off Raichu. I mean, I have to sack off something, and Raichu's as good as anything, I guess. I think I lose this Barbarical. I think I lose to this Barbarical. I mean, I can try to go into this thing, and if I take one hit, then I can get a charm off. And then I can try to deal with this. But it's never going to look pretty. If this thing's at plus one. It looks like Liquidation still KOs me, even from... Absolute full, but that's if it's max, max attack, which it 100% can be, but I think just charming this thing is going to be my best play overall. I'm kind of showing my entire moveset right now, so he can absolutely just uh, hit me really hard. Goes for another shell smash, but I can charm all day. Uh, the thing is, he can continue... Yeah, no, I just have to catch this thing by charming repeatedly. Because if I keep if I can keep this thing at plus one, honestly, if I could keep this thing at plus one and Rhydon could take a hit, then that would be 
Best case scenario. Goes for the liquidation. Can we take one? Can we take one? No, it's max it's max attack. Okay. So it looks like I go down to a liquidation with Rhydon as well. How does this thing hit Um Dragapult? I don't think it does. It looks like Stone Edge isn't even a guaranteed KO. And at this point it's it's so weakened that Thunderbolt should be a guaranteed KO. So I kind of just have to take a Stone Edge, right? I think that's my only play. Does it, I, I, I honestly don't even know that much about Barbarical and what kind of and what kind of move access it has. So I guess I can look into that now, even though this is really not the time. And it doesn't matter anyway because I'm in here anyway, so I, I should just go for for the hit. And he can miss a Stone Edge. He can... I should take this. I theoretically should take this. We take it at plus one. Okay. I think no matter what... I, I think this thing had to be... Absolutely 100% had to be adamant in, or, to, in order to KO me. Um, From absolute full. And I don't think... I think he's out of rockers. So, Dragapult is set up decently well to really do a number to his team. Uh, except for the fact that I... Am, yeah, going to spec... Going to a Scarf Guard. Oh, that's totally fine. Now, I know... I know mid, and I know he's going to um, make a super aggressive play, expecting me to switch here. But I really can't do much about it if he just... Huh, I think... I think I might just go into this. I think I might just go into this. And... I actually don't know what that means entirely. So I don't think this thing is going to hit me too, too hard. Just, go for, just goes for the Moon Blast. But, oh, that actually does a lot of damage. Now, I am max attack modest. What does that mean in terms of damage output to a Toxtricity? Um, I think I should double. I think I should double. I think there's no way that Toxtricity doesn't come in here. And yeah, I really think doubling is my best play here. Because Rhydon has a solid matchup against this Toxtricity. I can at least get rocks up. At a minimum. And if this Toxtricity... If, if he lets this Toxtricity go down, then I think Sylveon potentially wins. I'm going to try to get up Stealth Rocks. Because, realistically, Rhydon... Rhydon should be able to handle most of the re most of the remaining team. I think if the Araquanid comes in, that would be the biggest issue for me. Just goes for the Boom Burst. Okay. I definitely respect it. Gets the Throw Spray off. And it looks like that, that actually might be a 2KO, which would be pretty bad. No, get me wrong. It would be pretty bad. That did, yeah, that actually looks like a 2KO. He called me out hard because I really had to click. Um, I just have to hope that I take this, but I don't think I do. Oh, we take it. Okay. We do take it. And Rhydon gets the KO. Oh no, I was thinking of, of double damage, but no, uh, if it's at plus one, then it's 1.5 times. Yeah, no, that's fine. So now Araquanid comes in and does the most. If Araquanid comes in, I mean, I probably go into... No, I can't. If Araquanid comes in... Honestly, if, if, if Araquanid gets up sticky webs, then I kind of just lose the match. But the fact that he's not going into Araquanid, it kind of blows my mind here. I'm going to go for a Body Press. And the counter was actually for... goes for a Bulk Up. Wow! Could this KO? If this KOs, I'd be over the moon here. It doesn't quite KO. That's... that's... It's not great, but you know what? It is what it's going to be. 
I'm just gonna click it again. And we'll move on from there. Um. So now, I can actually go into Sylveon. I can go into Sylveon, and I'm going to reveal that Sylveon's Scarf, but it, it never really matters that I reveal it now, because it forces in the... It forces in the... The... Well, no, I think I just lose this one now. I think what I had to do is go into Dragapult. But no, then the same thing happens. Yeah, I think it was going to be difficult for me to win no matter what happened. But basically what's going to happen is I can Hyper Voice. It's going to force in the Araquanid. And I can definitely... I can definitely do a lot of damage to the Araquanid. But what I... I mean, if this thing could KO the Araquanid... If this thing could Oko the, the Araquanid, which it very much can't. But if it could... Then... I potentially win. I'm sorry, one second. Okay, sorry about that. I'll probably uh, try to edit that out. But I think my only play is to just click Hyper Voice a, a handful of times. But I don't beat the Gardevoir anymore if it's Scarfed, unless this thing just super duper KOs. Goes for Liquidation. If we, Can we take one? No, it doesn't matter, because now we are very much in range for the, for the Gardevoir to KO. Yeah, yeah, no. I played that as well as I could, but it was always going to be rough. It was always going to be rough. So, yeah, that, that was an unfortunate way to lose. I think I played a lot of it out as best as I could, but I think the difference maker in this matchup was the Barbarical. Because I prepared hard for everything, you know, basically but this. Now, I wonder... Uh, let me just see. Yeah, it looks like I, I don't even KO with with Shadow Ball, so I have to click Thunderbolt, which, I mean, does, doesn't even really matter, but how could I play that differently? Oh, did, did it take that? It took that. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate, but I, I don't think it ever really mattered. Uh, that's going to be how this week ends. I really thought I had a solid chance. I was proud of the way that I built around the Conkelder. I think the, the, the fact that Arcanine worked against the Conkelder was really something fun for me. But yeah, just that Barbarical, getting up Shell Smashes was always going to be difficult for me to deal with, and I really didn't have a great way of managing that. So, like I said, that that's going to be for me. Uh, we will be playing mid again in just a few minutes for the AP Academy week, and I believe that actually might uh, be up before this, so I don't know the, the way that ends. I guess you guys do. Um, I put a lot more time and effort into that one. Because that was a must-win situation that I really, really desperately want to win. This one, if I lose this one, I have a few weeks to kind of just push my baby back up. But the AP Academy one is an absolute... If I have to win this or else I'm out. So uh, I'm going to see see whatever we can do there. But I'm going to get connected to him again in just a minute to, to make that happen. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the AP Academy. More weeks of the TBL. And uh, more weeks of the NCP. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be once again out.